Yeah. What's up, guys? This is Adriana Rodriguez from JunkieMonkeys.com. I'm here with Mr. Ted Price, CEO of Insomniac Games. How are you doing, Ted? I'm doing great. Thank you. That's good to hear. So, my first question is, what kind of feedback have you gotten from Sunset Overdrive? People say they love it because it's different. How different? Well, this is not a traditional shooter. This is one of those games where you are moving through the world with velocity. You are wall running, grinding, bouncing, vaulting throughout this big open world using a whole slew of unconventional weapons to take on some pretty nasty creatures. Nice. Now, I like the whole story because the story really interests me because, well, it's not like your average outbreak scenario. It's, well, it's because of this. And the reason why, like, people drink this and they turn into mutants. So where did that idea of, like, getting, becoming a mutant because of an energy drink come from? One of our themes in the game is what happens when corporate greed runs amok? What happens when corporations are out of control? And in this story, Fisco, which is a giant corporation, is about to release a new energy drink, which you just showed, called Overcharged Delirium XT. They push it through FDA testing a little bit fast. It's not ready to go out to the public, but they decide they're going to release it anyway. And they have a big party in Sunset City. You are working a dead-end job at the party, cleaning up trash, not having a great time, and everybody around you is having a blast, drinking overcharge. All of a sudden, you start hearing screams, and people start changing into these mutants. Overcharged delirium drinkers, or od we call them in the game. You're running for your life, hold up in your apartment, and the city is overrun with these od However, you suddenly realize that you no longer have to worry about that crappy job. You don't have to worry about what you're wearing. People aren't going to judge you. You can play your music as loud as you want. And this isn't the apocalypse. This is the awesome apocalypse. This is you living out your fantasies in this big open world full of fun things to do. Let's talk about the chaos mode. Can we expect any new additions from the chaos mode? Like more skins or maps or more players? Well, what chaos mode is, is a big eight player experience that takes place in this open world. So you and seven friends are going on a random series of missions. Every time you complete a mission, you get to vote on which mission you're going to take on next. You go through a series of missions and eventually it culminates in something called night defense, which we're showing here at E3. A big over-the-top explosive battle where you and your friends are holding off giant numbers of OD who are trying to steal your overcharge. When you finish and if you succeed, you actually win a lot of really cool rewards. New weapons, new amps, which are some of the power-ups in the game. Vanity, cash you can take, you can use. Take it back to single player and there you can use it. How many different weapons are in the game? Well, we're not giving away numbers. This time, we're actually showing off eight very, very different weapons. And what's important about them is they're strategically differentiated. So these are not a bunch of machine guns. Every weapon does something different. For example, my favorite is the TN Teddy, this gun that shoots out little teddy bears that have dynamite strapped to them. They kind of waddle around, and they, they have a few cute sayings, and they blow up. It's a great area of effect weapon. How'd you come up with that idea? We have a lot of people at Insomniac who love coming up with crazy weapon ideas. So this is just one of the many that the team just threw out there. And the reason we love coming up with crazy weapons is because in a game like Sunset Overdrive, there are no rules. One of our sayings is, fun trumps realism, and you can see that in the game. Can we expect any cameos or small appearances from other games, maybe from your other inspirations? Well, I can tell you that this game's all about you. At the very beginning, you choose your gender, you choose your body style, you choose your ethnicity, hairstyle, vanity, and you can change it any time in the game. So, presumably, when you're playing with your friends, especially in Chaos Squad, you're going to see a lot of variation. Nice. What was the inspiration for the game? It was our team deciding to do something different, deciding to change the rules for shooters and to bring some color back to the industry. Nice. So my final question is, can you tell us more about the Triversal Movement and how that came to be? Yes, I can tell you more about the Traversal System in the game. We started wanting to make a game that took our strengths as a creator of shooters, platformers, adventure games, and kind of meld them into something very unique. And when we started putting the basics together, we realized that it's a lot more fun to get up above the ground and move quickly than it is to cower behind cover and pop up every now and then and shoot enemies like most shooters do. Again, it was us doing something different and providing players with a very different shooter experience. Nice. I think that about wraps it up. I'm Adrian Rodriguez from JunkieMonkeys.com. Sunset Overdrive comes out when? October 28th, exclusively on Xbox One. Mark your calendars, people. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right.